Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing. So today I am having a re-look at the Warhammer 40k Legends book subscription box. Now if you don't know what I'm on about, I did do another video, you can go check it out, it is on my channel. Um, and that kind of explains more what this is. However, I will do a brief recap. You get two hardback Warhammer 40k books a month. And um, yeah, it's only 19 98 And if you subscribe from issue one, you get a load of free goodies. So that's always good. So last month's books were Horus Rising by Dan Abner, a bit of a classic, and Crossfire. Now, as with all the books, they're really kind of good, sturdy hardbacks. They've got some lovely art on the side. They are all random. So I've got book 78 here. It's going to be a hell of a subscription service. And all of them do include um, like a little extra inlay featuring artwork, talking about certain races or certain kind of political things that have happened in the 40k universe. They are really nice books. They're really sturdy. I really like them. Um, but I'm going to talk more about them that in a second. I'm just going to show you what I got in this month's box, which arrived literally like an hour and a half ago. So in this one, I have Blood of Assain. I don't know. I'm going to apologise because I've never actually heard anyone say, whoop, 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 there we go, say this out loud. Like I've never actually heard anyone discuss it. So I apologise if I've pronounced it wrong. I've only ever read it. Deal with it. And another Dan Abnett, first and only. And on top of those, I did get my last free gift, which was my Inquisition Tankard. Woo! Um, it's a good kind of sturdy metal tankard handle has been screwed on and because of that there is a hole in it um which is a bit random i'll probably use that as to loop a leather thong on or something so i can attach it to a belt um but it is nice and plain it's just a subtle kind of engraving it's double layered which i don't know if that's because it retains heat or cold better or if it's a handle thing because the actual cup starts about there which is just above where the handle is so it might just be that there's a big screw pointing in I don't know but it's fine it's cool I mean for 20 quid two books and a tankard's pretty damn good now that all being said I have cancelled I know, I know, I've been raving about the product saying they're really good, super high quality, you get loads of like really funky extras and for 20 quid a month you can't really go wrong and I mean it, I really do, but I don't like the company and I'm not talking about Games Workshop, I'm talking about Hatchet Partworks. You see, I did briefly mention that I think they've got some admin issues in my last video and that opinion hasn't really changed. So I am one of these people I like to keep track of my finances. Between Rafe Paul and I, we actually have spreadsheets. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. So I don't like it when I don't know when a payment's not coming out of my account. Um, I like it even less when I've got a ballpark idea and then it doesn't come out for a week and a half after that. I like it even less than that when I have received this month's box and they still haven't taken payment so apparently payments going out tomorrow they do tell you on the invoice slip but i actually cancelled my subscription about five days ago now there is a disclaimer on the website which i stupid and didn't read because i don't know anyone who reads the cancellation policy when they subscribe to something um <laughs> saying that there's a 28 day leaving period there's like a 28 day grace period kind of thing and to be honest i don't mind getting this last box i got a tankard it's cool but um normally they would take payment about the 28th and i'd receive the box around the kind of second third 
it's the eighth day and I got my box and there's no payment going and it just feels super unorganized the, even the label on the box as well as having my address messed up on it they've also got a handwritten line in my address because they didn't print it off I just can't be dealing with a company like that I don't like the fact that you get no shipping notifications. I don't like the fact that if it's late, they don't tell you. I'm fairly certain they sent this box out after I told them I wanted to cancel, which is a little bit cheeky. But, like I said, it's one of those things. I totally get, you know, the, the 28 days grace period, although it is a bit unusual. A lot of ups uh, subscription boxes don't do it. But, so that's the reason I'm leaving. If you don't mind those things, if you don't mind issues of unpredictable payments, no contact, and boxes arriving on your doorstep, piggledy piggledy, then brilliant, keep going. It's actually a really good product. I just want a bit more reliability in my life. What can I say? So, enough with the negativity. Like I said, they are sturdy books, the free gifts are freaking awesome. And if you like 40k, £10 a book is a brilliant price for a hardback. So, if you aren't deterred by the things that have put me off, go. Go subscribe. I will actually link them below so you can go check it out for yourself. If you are like me and you like to keep track of the things that are happening in your life, nah. Perhaps you're best buying it off in the stores, but you won't get the free gifts that way. So, yeah, I'm sorry this ended up being such kind of a, a downer video. I was really hoping to be able to stick with them, but kind of this last box has been the final straw. So, until next time, guys, I will be looking into kind of other boxes that I can subscribe to. There's a lot of Japanese themed boxes I've been looking at. There's other general kind of geeky boxes because I'm now going to have an extra £20 a month is that already allocated so that will be going towards another subscription box. Um, but yeah until then keep checking out stuff on my channel. I, If you are a Warhammer 40k fan I do cover a lot of 40k on my YouTube from game releases, I will be doing game playthroughs, everything like that. So don't worry, you you can still get your fix. That's cool. I'm I'm still I'm still there for you. But um, this will be the last 40k Legends box unboxing I will be doing. So until next time, guys, stay safe, purge, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.